Welcome everyone. In this video I'll be simply reading through an article that I wrote back on the 14th of May 2017 and that was published in the Samui Times the following day but which is no longer available online. And the heading or the headline for the article was three months after Russian girl vanished from Death Island Koh Tao there are many more questions than answers and it's written by Ian Yarwood, Australian lawyer, yours truly. Three months ago, the Russian tourist Valentina Novosanova, 23, disappeared from the Thai island of Koh Tao, also referred to as Death Island by expats living nearby. The story was reported in the Samui Times on Friday the 3rd of March 2017 and picked up by the Sun newspaper in the UK on the 6th of March 2017. The news then quickly spread around the globe. The authorities on Koh Tao had apparently allowed over two weeks to elapse before starting any sort of search. However, once the international media re started reporting on her disappearance, a search for Valentina Novosanova, sometimes spelled as N-O-V-O-Z-H Y O N O V A suddenly became urgent. I'm yet to see any explanation from the Thai police as to why they waited over two weeks before conducting any sort of a search. Frankly, I don't believe there is any good explanation. Over the few weeks following the alarm being raised by the media, the Thai authorities presented the world with some theatre. The Thai police asserted that Valentina had mental health issues. They claimed that Valentina had only ever been diving in swimming pools, but that now she intended to engage in free diving in the waters around Koh Tao. The police claimed that Valentina had a dive buddy who had since gone to the Philippines. They released pictures of officers liaising with tourists on the beach. They asked foreign divers to assist in underwater searches. Remains were found in the waters of Koh Tao, which police said were believed to be human remains, possibly including a hip. Delays went by, and later it was declared that the remains were of marine life and were not human. It was all great theatre. Time went by and there were enough red herrings presented and enough distractions and deflections that the mainstream media had nothing further to report on unless they undertook some detective work of their own. There were, no news, there were no news reports that police or anyone else were looking for a body or shallow grave on the island, which covers an area of only eight square miles. I do not know how remains, uh, I do not know how remains that were determined to be of marine life could have been mistaken for a human hip. In addition, the police never said what sort of marine life the remains had come from. I had previously gone to great efforts to try to obtain answers from the Thai Bureau of Laboratory Quality Standards to ascertain whether or not the relevant police laboratory had appropriate accreditation to, to conduct certain DNA testing in relation to the trial of Zorlin and Wai Pyo for the murders of British backpackers David Miller and Hannah Witheridge. I was fobbed off for many months. In the circumstances, I've not bothered to put any questions to the Thai police in relation to the disappearance of Valentina. I'm happy for them to regard this article as an open letter though. I'm equally happy for members of the mainstream media who have far greater resources than I have to put any relevant questions to the Thai police and report their responses. A few weeks after this report, a person contacted the Samui Times claiming to be Russian and to have been one of Valentina's close friends. He said he wished to shed some light on Valentina's disappearance and correct some of the statements attributed to the Thai police. In particular, he said that, one, statements about Valentina's mental health issues were exaggerated and she was not suicidal, despite implied suggestions that she was perhaps suicidal. Two, Valentina had experienced freediving in the Black Sea to depths of about 20 metres, contrary to statements from the Thai police. And three, Valentina did not have a dive buddy and statements that she had one who travelled on to the Philippines were false. I do not know Valentina, nor do I know her close friend. 
I do not know whether the three statements in the preceding paragraph are true, but I would be pleased to learn from any responses from the Thai police and also to learn of any information the mainstream media might uncover. Perhaps the Thai police can explain the basis for their statements that Valentina had never been free diving in the open water and that, they, and that she had a dive buddy. In addition, I would be pleased to learn of any explanations from the Thai police uh, in addition, I would be pleased to learn of any explanations the Thai police have for delaying the search for Valentina and how they confused remains of human life with human remains. Finally, I would be pleased to learn why there were no apparent search for a body or a shallow grave on such a small island. At present, it seems that the Thai police simply wish to keep Valentina's disappearance under the carpet. And that's the end of the article. If you found that useful, please give it a thumbs up and make any comments below and uh, perhaps uh, share it on social media. And there will be further articles like that that I will be reading through on uh, this channel. So uh, please keep a lookout for those. Thank you very much and keep safe.